Doesn't that look like bison poop? Go back a couple pages, buddy. Let's see. Go back a couple pages. We are identifying poo. It says it's in a pile and it's larger than deer scat. And then, the, so it could be elk or moose. I think that's elk. I don't think that's big enough to be moose. It's like the size of grapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And there's deer, which we know it's not that. Okay, so it's either elk or moose. So that means there was an elk or a moose walking down this street. Can I see the cover of that book, Abner? What is that book that's so amazing? Who pooped? So we have made a few modifications to the camper. Um, this is where the air conditioning unit once was. And I decided to cut this cabinet and I'll, I'll probably put on some, some ball boards and, and finish it a little nicer than the way you see it here. But we ended up sticking in here this Camco toilet. Now this is the premium toilet and it fits almost perfectly inside of here. It has a five gallon tank at the bottom. You can get these with two and a half gallon tanks, but I feel like you'd be almost sitting on the floor that way. At least this way, it's a little further off the floor. The five gallon is a nice depth. And you basically, you pull this lever on the side, which we have just enough room to pull that out after you do your potty business. And it opens up your, um, your flushing hole down inside the tank. Now nobody's used this. Don't stick your hands in there after somebody's used them unless you're cleaning it. Um, it has a three water spigot on the, on the top here. So after you're done with your business and you open this up and you pump the flusher, it'll squirt water uh, and flush it all the way around that bowl, giving it a nice clean rinse. Now over on the opposite side from the toilet, is, this is where our refrigerator was. This is going to be kind of like a storage bay right here. So I'll try and trim this out a little nicer uh, after we get some paint on here and, and see how things are looking. Without having a refrigerator, something that this camper did have was a built-in cooler. It sits kind of uh, right in this corner here. And so what I've been working on over here is making it a better cooler. Um, it's just a styrofoam cooler. Uh, there's, a, there's a plastic piece that slides in there. It has a drain that comes out the bottom so that uh, as the water and the ice melt, it, it comes out and goes underneath the camper onto the ground. So I have uh, insulated the styrofoam a little better and I am insulating the exterior panels. When I put this piece back in here this afternoon, I will run uh, some uh, styrofoam insulation in that. The idea is to create a compartment here that is, is shielded as much as I can from outside temperatures.
think this is coming along nicely. We've got uh, the PVC uh, coated aluminum flashing. This is a 24 inch flashing. It comes down. Uh, there's some beetle tape that's between this and a piece of flashing down at the bottom there. This is pretty easy stuff to work with. Uh, and then we've got this little piece of insulation of some sort on the inside. That's mainly just kind of a filler for this. Now these screws are just your typical flat headed screw, but they've got the extra wide head on them. And so those I got, and then these are washers that I took off of roofing screws. So they've got the rubber seal on there. I just put them on these screws. That's a really nice little look. All right, so here's where we are this morning. I, um, <clears throat> I installed a one by six between those two because there's a little bit of a gap. And what I'm actually gonna do is when I put our laminate flooring in, I'm gonna turn it and bring it up so you have that durable surface going up along the back side there. And let's see, I've gone ahead and I've put back in our tracks on both sides. And that is where our toilet's going to go. The door kind of opens and the top opens up. I might end up eventually putting the top on some sort of piston so that it stays open. So this is where it sits as of today. Okay, folks, it has been a mad rush here. I am currently working on the floor. Um, in literally two days, we have painted the entire interior and the exterior. I'll show you that in a second. And started the floor. So um, I'm hoping I'll get <laughs> through most of this by the time the sun goes down today. Because I am running out of time. I've got to start putting cabinet covers back on and installing tanks and electrical but I do like this color scheme that Shauna has picked out so I think it's gonna look out pretty nicely in there so what I did here is I painted the top white and I had taped painters plastic all the way along the top and hung it down over the side of the camper. And then I came back and just popped it up. It pulled the painter's plastic up. That was a little trickier than I thought it would be. And I came around the base and painted the base. So the base is actually kind of like a, a greenish color. It's hard to tell from this angle. There you go. And then we've got the white top and then the kind of like the khaki canvas center. Um, I painted the wheels too, but that's not a big deal. We'll take care of the wheels.